Hello and welcome to a new series for Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. This is the custom house series that you, the viewer, voted for. So, what is going to be different about this series? Well, apart from the fact that we're focusing on a custom house that I have made, we're also going to be very, very much focused on the individual characters of the court. Which is why I'm going to ask you, the viewer, to submit as many custom characters as you can to me and we'll get them all added into the court and it'll be pretty cool. We already have a few here who are remainders from an Aegon series, and I'll show you them in just a bit. But first, let me introduce you to Urus. Now, Urus is a bastard of the um, of the Saltcliffe House, and he was never really expected to rule. As a bastard, he had the right to take a coat of arms, but he decided to fashion his own. He fashioned a he fashioned his coat of arms kind of after his house's coat of arms. The Nine-Headed Hydra being the sigil of his house, of his uh, father's house, he decided to go with a Nine-Headed Hydra, with his favourite thing in the world added in. A tankard of ale. He also decided to take the name Serpentail. He thought it was quite amusing. Not many other people did. He then, he spent many years going off raiding with his remaining members of his family, just uh, you know, general ironborn stuff, until one day he got blind drunk, and he woke up and they'd all gone off raiding without him. Now, Urus didn't think anything more of it, he, this had happened before, he, uh, you know, he get he drunk a little bit too much, he's quite a large fellow, they didn't really want to carry him to the boats, they decided they'd take him next time. However, on the morning that he woke up, he'd heard that there was a very large storm, and... Then, after several months of hearing nothing more, he heard that actually the, the boats, they found like bits of wreckage, and he was probably the last um, person alive who had a rightful claim to the island. So here he was, completely out of his debt, in charge of the island, and this is where we're going to jump in. Now, he does have a few sellswords and exiles at his island, which, trusting as he is, he thought, Hmm, no problem, just making them his advisors, putting them in charge of his armies. They'd never do anything wrong to him. He's not very smart, Urus. So, here is our council. It's not very large right now. We have our captain of the fleet, James. He's um, kind of a representative of the people. He's lowborn, he's not a noble, he's just, uh, he is like the only ironborn who is really left. We have our treasurer, Recaro. He's a former slave and a Dothraki who has uh, come over here mainly in search of safe haven and uh, presumably some uh, good chances of fighting. And we have Agor, who is a uh, knight from the mainland who has come over here to, well, to find a cause to fight for. And we also have Meredith, who is an exile from the Westlands who has come here mainly seeking safe haven and came with a lot of coin so the iron board were happy to uh, have her at least until the coin ran out right so but instead of focusing on all of our stuff right now we've got one thing to do until we uh, are ready to move on time we are going to get married that's the kind of first thing that uh, Uri should be focusing on I imagine Finding a good marriage, maybe getting an alliance, or maybe just getting somebody smarter than him to help rule the realm. He is not very smart at all. So, let's see what we've got. Probably looking for someone with high stewardship. That would kind of show that they are very, um, they're very good at uh, ruling a realm. And probably he wouldn't really notice if they have any traits that are, like deceitful or anything. He's, he's really, really not very bright. Let's have a look. We're going to avoid marrying into the different, uh, like, custom houses that have been made just yet, just because I want each of their dynasties to kind of exist on their own. Let's see what we've got. So we've got Arwen, who is patient, humble, a bit slothful, and has a scholarly and bookish uh, disposition. That could be all right. Uh, she's a skilled steward, definitely. With Jonella, who's uh, not as skilled a steward, a bit zealous, very gregarious, though. A little bit selfish, well, a little bit just. And we have Asha. She's a chaste, probably not the best person to marry. 
I think we're going to go with uh, Arwen. Just because there aren't that many options at the start of the game, just because um, all the characters were added in, I believe, manually, pretty much. So, you know, there aren't that many options to look at. In a couple of years, there might be more, but uh, yes, we'll look at that then. So we're going to marry Arwen. Uh, yes, yes, we are marrying a normal courtier, but no real problems there. So, let's just marry. Anything else we really need to worry about before we get started? I don't think there is. Ah, oh, yes, there is one more thing. We have to send for a maester. Uh, because we don't have one. Uh, I don't know if Ironborn have maesters. Are they a thing that Ironborn are meant to have? I think it might just be a mod thing. Like, for balance. But anyway. Maybe they do have them. Somebody can correct me in the comments below. So, we are going to let time move on. We're going to see the main problem that Urus is going to face. Like, the first big issue. Uh, that's just saying that our second holding here, the person died. So it reverts to us. There we go. King Aegon of Westeros has declared King Aegon's conquest of the Iron Isles and King Iron King Harren the Black. So we have Aegon, who might be called the Conqueror eventually. We're going to just set him a special interest. And he has decided to attack Harren the Black, our rightful liege. So we are now at war with Aegon the Conqueror. Well, we're really not going to go to war us, personally, we're not going to go to war with them. Do we even have boats? We have a few boats, yeah. But I don't think we're going to uh, sail over there. We're a little bit uh, too worried about our own realm right now, but we will definitely watch it with interest. Harren the Black is, of course, our liege, and he's kind of... Um, he's the main person we're going to have to appease right now. Now, there is, of course, uh, one person between us. There is... The Greyjoys are between us and Harren the Black. But, uh, you know, appeasing them both is not necessarily a bad thing. So we're just going to set both of these people as special interest. And then we're going to have a look around the rest of the realm. Other people who are important in the realm, we have Ronald Aaron. He's uh, the kind of child uh, king over there. He's probably going to lose his title. Probably to Aegon. A lot of them are probably going to lose their, like, their main king titles to Aegon, I would imagine. We have Lauren Lannister of the Rock. We have Mern Gardner of the Reach. We have Argilic, uh, the Arrogant of uh, the Stormlands. We have Maria of, Dor of Dorne. And in the north, we have Torin Stark. And that should be everybody, if I've got that right. Just making sure we didn't miss anyone. No. And now, basically, we're going to see how Aegon's Conquest does. Initial kind of set the tone for a lot of the series. I imagine that if he wins against the Iron Isles, we're actually going to have an influx of people to our court, which would be interesting. So I want to see how it is before we really get into um, into the main part of the game. So let's just see what happens. Uh, to the strong berserker Urus, blessings upon you and your house. I accept your suggestion that Lord Urus and Arwen get married. Perfect. All hail his grace, Iron King Harren of House Hor. King of Salt and Rock, son of the sea, son of the sea wind. Sorry, there's a little bit of an extra space there. Lord Reaper of Harren Hall and protector of the Iron Isles. All hail the Iron King. So we should get a need a new ambition because we have got married. We've married Arwen. Um, is there anything Arwen can do? Not really. The only position I believe she would be allowed to hold is spy mask. <laughs> The only position she would be allowed to hold is Spy Master, which is currently being held by Agar River, so it's really not a thing that we need to worry about right now. Uh, she's probably just going to be happy being kind of here to bolster up our uh, our stewardship a little bit. Now, we need to pick a new ambition. What should our second ambition be? Probably have a son, I would imagine. That seems like a good ambition to have. Um, Yeah. Have a son, that seems best. We'll go have a son. Right, and then we'll continue seeing how Aegon's conquest has gone. Looks like a couple of the Riverlands houses have uh, broken free. They've not joined Aegon, but they've not... They've uh, definitely broken apart from uh, the main Iron Isles group. Uh, someone's created the High Lordship of Wicked Den. Not really important. Lord Urus Serpentail and... Lady Arwen have got married. It's customary for a dowry to be paid to the groom's house, but there is nobody here to pay it. Yes, because we married a lowborn. A maester we sent for from the Citadel has arrived. Let us hope he'll be loyal and wise. So we've got a maester called Olrin. 
Orin is, um, he's very smart, actually. He's also a master seducer. Hmm. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Let things uh, carry on. Lots of people buying favors from other people. Your treasurer, Rekaro, has offered to go through your newly acquired domain titles and distribute them to existing or new vassals in order to ease your burden of government. Well, you know what, Rekaro? Yes, I would appreciate your help. It's very nice that you've come and uh, just offered out the kindness of your heart to uh, give out our titles. Lord James is no longer our chief general. That's because he is now one of our, like, he's now our vassal. We're going to put him in charge. He's our captain of the fleet. He's now our only vassal. He's been kind of risen up. He's now uh, James Ironfoot. Okay, interesting. Not much more we're going to do there. We're also going to leave these people without jobs just for just now. But actually, we'll put James as raiding, as uh, organizing a raid. But apart from that, we're going to leave them without jobs just so that we have a few options what to do. There also are only options for commanders, so I'm leaving the two people who are best at commanding kind of uh, separate. Right. Let's see how this war continues to go. Mountain and Veil, create a new title. Cool. Cool. Where are, you, where are you off to, Aegon? I'm trying to see if we can spot his armies anywhere. We spotted one walking up here. Um, he usually declares some more wars around this time, but uh, it all depends on what events he gets. Lots of people are finding factions and getting favours like, at the start of the game. This is definitely uh, going everywhere. Mario Martel is now known as The Old. Okay, that's not very flattering. And let's uh, yes, where is Aegon's army? Oh, there's Aegon's army. Oh, that did not look good for Aegon. Does he not have his dragons in charge? Oh, uh, to the heroic Lord Urus, blessed upon you and your house, we've decided to offer you the position of commander. Do you accept? Yes, of course I accept. We'll we'll, we'll do what you say. You're you're a leash. You would never lead us uh, astray. Oh. Here's where Aiken's dragons are. They've arrived uh, directly on the Iron Isles. That's, uh, that's worrying. Please don't burn us all and uh, make this be the shortest campaign I've ever done. Uh, Lords of Pike approved the institution of tax shifted burger. Yeah, they changed uh, tax law effectively. It's not important. Yeah. Well, this isn't the capital of the Iron Isles, is it? Because the capital is, of course, Harrenhal. He still decided to land here. That, that much is for certain. Oh, it looks like he's uh, got some allies. Looks like the drums decided to join him. Alright. We're going to kind of stay on our island and uh, hope he doesn't come here. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Arwen, is pregnant. Cool. Cool, we might have a son already. That would definitely uh, make me feel more secure about the dragons. Although they could still wipe us out in a single blow. Uh, Storm King... Argalic the Arrogant has declared the Stormlander Westerosi de jure war over Blackwater Bay on King Aegon of Westeros. Hmm. Okay. I'd be surprised if he would be able to beat Aegon, but uh, we'll see. The AI has known to be particularly bad at uh, all things fighting. Oh, who did this group join? They joined again. They've specifically joined against Harren the Black. In fact, did River Run join as well? Yeah. A couple of these groups have uh, joined against Harren the Black, so this. Not going well for him. My captain of the fleet, Lord James, has gathered up a great host of raiders, lusting for plunder and wanton destruction. I must use these men and not allow them to idle for too long. Great news. Okay, we're going to go off raiding. And this is one of the Ironborn mechanics, which is pretty cool. So let's uh, raise up all of our men that we can. Do we raise vassal levies? Um, are vassal levies allowed to be raised without opinion negatives? I can't remember. Vassals do not mind if their levies are raised. Perfect. Well, we will raise their levies as well. So merge up this army. Um, cannot merge the selected units. Oh, is one of them toggled for raiding? Um, I don't know. They toggle looter on all of them. No. Unit is not... F there we go. Yes, one of them was uh, forced to be raiding. That's why it was a little bit odd there. Um, because we only have two commanders, we are going to send, uh, we're going to kind of restructure the army a little bit. And send all of these ones over here. And send them kind of, split them up between the two armies. It really doesn't matter. Um, I suppose we should have more in the center. But yeah. And then let's get our boats raised and hope that we have enough boats for what we want to do. We have 27 boats, which, if it would let us select the boats, there we go. 
is just enough. Don't know if the bolts are going to cost too much for us to use uh, raiding consistently, but we'll, we'll head off raiding. Now we have to find somewhere to go. Let's kind of head over here. Are we allowed to raid here? Uh, what's the rules for raiding? Uh, raiding, you can raid infidel neighbors for loot. Yup, these look like infidel neighbors. Let's uh, go raid them for loot. Uh, let's head right along to the edge of the rock. My young wife has taken a passion for romantic poetry. She keeps reading any sort of romantic poetry she can get hold of. Well, we'll obviously get her more to read. That just seems sensible. Yeah. Right. Let's uh, get off these islands and go and uh, raid somewhere else. Right. Um. Yeah, let's be very brazen and land directly on Casterly Rock. They go for. This did not go well. Let, 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 let me out, let me out this fight. Our raiding days have not started well as we landed directly on the Lannister army. Let's uh, maybe try moving along here. I think they rose them up on the same day that we uh, landed, which was uh, fantastic. So we maybe want to try raiding somewhere that's already being attacked. Where are you attacking, Aegon? You're attacking the Stormlands, or the Stormlands are attacking you. Maybe we'll head all the way around there. We'll do some raiding over at that side. Right, head all the way around. Um, this definitely says that vassals are kind of annoyed that their levies are raised. That's, that's not what it told me, but whatever. That's fine. Uh, Rayla Targaryen died stillborn. She would have been a lunatic anyway. But, uh, yep, he's dead. Right, let's uh, quickly land on this island and see if we can get a little bit of raiding done. Okay, let's have looks. We're just waiting for the loot bar to show itself. Uh, we don't want siege view, we just want the loot bar. We just want to take the, uh, kind of skim off the top, and then get off the uh, island as quickly as possible. Let's uh, do this to this island as well. You have a new heir. If your character dies now, you'll play as Dale Serpentail. Well, given that we have no, um, you know, house behind us, we have no kind of uh, family history, Dale sounds like a fine name. It also rhymes, which seems perfect. Yes, we have Dale. And we don't choose a focus for him yet, do we? And, oh, we can choose a focus for him yet. Cool. Because um, you have to choose channel two focuses now. Let's have a look at these. Uh, Tutor by counselors, servants at court, uh, courtiers and family members. Um, these are more if you want to become a maester or a drowned priest. Uh, focus on duty and diligence, maybe. Uh, tutored by artisans and merchants, probably not. Counselors and noblemen, definitely seems like the right option. Yeah, we'll go with the kind of groomed for rulership option. There we go. And then we'll continue raiding. We filled the ambition to have a son. What seems like good next ambition? Probably have a daughter seems like the next obvious one for us. That seems uh, fairly simple. And maybe we'll start going, we'll do a little bit of carousing with our court now that this happened. Maybe we'll go carousing with James. We'll invite him to carousing. We'll prepare a small feast in uh, the honour of our son uh, like being born. Send out the invites. Um, to all the courtiers. We'll see what happens and then we'll... Uh, do a little bit of reading as well. See how that goes. Dear Liege, of course I'll come feast with you. I will bring my best appetite for revelry. Yours, Agar Rivers. This should be fun. Everybody's joining. Nobody's not coming. This is perfect. Right, so let's give a little bit off the top of this. Yes, yes. Some of them were a little bit slower, but they, they all eventually decided to join. Right, we're taking our money. Let's get back on our boats. And I think I am going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time we will go and do some more raiding. We'll have our carousing party and all sorts of cool stuff. So because this is the first episode of a series, I'm going to ask you to please like, dislike, comment, do whatever you can to interact with the video. It really helps with search rankings and it helps make the channel bigger and helps me know that you're enjoying the content. 
Uh, next thing is that we have the custom courtiers, and if you would like to see what's going on with them, I'm going to leave a link in the description and the comments below, and you can kind of look at what we would need if you wanted to submit your own. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.